Welcome to the world of the Transformers. I'm John, your host, the Vintage Geek, producer and host of the Super Awesome Geek Show. And we're looking at another Transformers retro collection from Hasbro. This time, it's the Minibot Autobot Warpath. This guy is cool. I remember having him when I was a kid. I also remember breaking him when I was a kid. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, about 20-odd years ago, I sold off all my broken Transformers. I do not have a, a Gen 1 to compare this to. His arms were somewhere. His head was somewhere. I love this picture. Don't you? Isn't that cool? How he transforms. Lots of steps for this guy. No, it was pretty easy. Don't swallow anything. There's all your warnings. Hasbro and whatnot. Autobot stuff. Don't eat them, please. Warpath. He says a good shot is worth more than a good intention, right? <laughs> you can read the rest of his file card there. His file cards are pretty cool. Just like G.I. Joe, Transformers used to come with file cards. And they had all these statistics for the different skills. <laughs> and get this. So Warpath's best skill is... All the way over there on the right, his best skill, his skill. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> he is skilled at skill. Totally skilled at skill. So there's Warpath in his robot mode. He looks pretty good. He looks exactly like the original as far as I can remember. Again, I'm sorry I don't have one to compare with, but... I think I broke his arms off, his head was broken off. It was like a mess when we got rid of that one. It's cool, these are just like seven dollars. That's really affordable for these vintage retro figures. Back of Warpath, he's got the little pin in his head just like I remember from the original. He transforms pretty easily. He's kind of like can sort of lay him down. He's almost a one move. When he goes back from tank to robot, he's almost a one move thing. This head, what did I have to do again? I know you push the arms in and then he pushes forward. And his head, oh yeah, you have to lift it forward. That's right, there you go. And then you can lay it down. His face snaps down and you just push them together. And he's a tank. What was really cool about him was, I mean, in addition to him being a tank and then he could roll and everything, it'd be all like awesome. His head could pop up when he's in vehicle mode. He kind of look around and talk to everybody. Hey man, I'm going to go blow stuff up. This is awesome. Yeah, there's some good looks at him in tank mode. He's just a really cool, really nice little figure. I always liked the mini bots just because they're simple yet awesome at the same time. And this is definitely one of the best. Really, really nice looking figure. He's really cool. But let's see if this one is an Autobot or a Decepticon. Good thing. Looks like he's an Autobot. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a quick look at him with his head popped out. You can look around while he's fighting. On this one, there is a date stamp on the bottom. So you can clearly tell that from the original. No problems with this figure. Warpath. Well, guys, I'm John the Vintage Geek. Just about out of here. Thanks a lot for watching. You know what to do if you want to see more videos. I actually got a lot to come up soon.